Should men cry? We've asked the people at Dundee their opinion about this due to mental health. I'm Jordan Martin and this is Rebreak News. Should men cry? Yes, men should cry. Crying brings out emotions, sad emotions, happy emotions. Um, for instance, uh, I'm 25. I uh, had um, a drug over uh, a drug addiction for five years, heroin. Um, lost my family, lost my kids, lost my girlfriend, my wife, my best pal, my dad. Uh, this is what's happened th through it. This was happened through taking drugs. So, yeah, men should cry, because. If you hold it all in, two weeks ago, Tay Road Bridge, I was there twice. I threw my bag over. I was looking and I was thinking to myself, my kids, my wife. So I went up to Cashfield, got a bit of help, and then for there, seeing Dundee, there's like you go to these. Like cash fee, for instance. But see, after that, there's no follow up. That's all there's so many deaths in Dundee. There's people think because you're an addict, you're, you're a, a, a bit of dirt. You're somebody's son. You're somebody's daughter. You know? And I'm a big part of me mental health because uh, my mental health is basically it's not the best at the time. You know what I mean? But, uh, uh, I need help. Yes, men should cry. They've got to get their feelings out. Bottling up causes problems and it bothers their head. So men have got to go over this, oh, I'm a he-man, and they've got to let go of their emotions. So that's good. Um, if they feel like it. Um, I think most men do cry if um, it's an emotion that comes inside you and just let it out, yeah. Should men cry? Of course they should, bro. Of course they should, man. Open up your heart, man. Come on, I mean, don't be scared to talk. Never ever be scared to talk. Don't know how to end, mate. It can hurt you too much up here and in here, man. Don't know. Don't ever hold it in. Uh, when's the last time you cried? Like, oh. about five years ago. Uh, because of death in the family, uh, you've got to get it out. You just can't bottle it in, or it'll say it bothers your mind causes problems. So that was the last time I cried. But a lot of men don't do it. They bottle it up and it causes them mental problems. Well, thank you very much for your time, sir. Um, I th think like during Christmas, just kind of the, um, just kind of the whole situation, really, so many bad things had happened. Trump's election, um, the whole kind of crisis, the isolation, um, not being able to, there was my sister, um, uh, her partner's mother uh, passed away. Uh, no, her, her mother's partner passed away. And it was really hard for her because um, she was on her own, basically. Her, her husband had died and she couldn't come over to see her granddaughters. So, um, yeah, just, I'd say that was, yeah, last time. Well, thank you very much for your time, sir. And I appreciate it. No worries at all. When's the last time you've cried? Last night. And this morning, matter of fact, I just, I just ran away from Carlsby Mental Hospital this morning. Okay, just as it's mental health is hard, ask for, ask for help. I, I always ask for help. You know what I mean, but hard to get help. A lot of people like phone when they're on a start on episode ten, listening them suicidal, and and they get left, and that's not that's not enough because you keep falling and falling and falling and tumbling, 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 going down. Lucky enough, I got saved, but God told me to escape this morning, so I'm, I'm kind of, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, I mean, I had MC Buddha in the house, VIP, loving the OEP and hating the LSD, D-U-N-D-E -E until I D-I-E. When's but the last time you've allowed to let out? Talking to people. People that you can trust. 
thank you very much for your uh, story and thank you very much for letting it out That's, right. That's cool, mate. People need to know Dundee, there needs to be something done. Because if not, 10 years' time, with this COVID and that, you don't care what's happening. And they're saying lockdown, right? Your mental health is over the place. You can't go out. You can't do nothing. I never exercise. Back in the house. That's not good for nobody. Can I mean, mate? And uh, mental health is a big problem. My, my missus has been through it with me. Uh, like the bridge, a couple incidents. No follow up after that. And it's just like, where do you turn to? You know? Thank you very much for the interview, and I do appreciate you I'm letting fine. out for us. I'm, I'm Graham, by the way. I'm, I'm Jordan. No bother, bud. Yeah, I think if men cried and, and showed their emotions more, um, it would help if they, if, they felt, if they felt so desperate they needed to commit suicide, then just opening up to someone and having a good cry um, well, I know as a woman, I mean, women and men are different, but I know if I'm upset and I feel, I felt I've had problems with mental health and I know if I have a good cry, then it helps a bit. And even, like, talking to people, I'll, if I could have sat in the conversations with somebody and I just start crying, um, just like... Like, like just like Graham did there, like he started talking about his, his issues and then he got upset. But it's it, it makes you feel better, not worse. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I mean, two years ago, I'll be two years ago on 28th of this month. My boyfriend at the time, um, he committed he committed suicide from a multi story multi story flat. He. Uh, he had a daughter. He had uh, my daughter. I went with him for eight years before, so my daughter seen him as her the only dad that she knew growing up. Um, and at the funeral, two of them were. It was devastating for them two of them for to watch the, the children. They were they're grown up girls, and then 21 the two of them. But they're, they're they were devastated. They were so, and I. I I went through all the whole green process like everybody else, the anger, the 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 love, the it was just it's the people they leave behind as well, do you know what I mean? The people that's left behind after someone commits suicide is so like it, it, it doesn't just affect one person or two people, is it there's it affects a whole lot of people, do you know what I mean? And that that all cared about him and if he just talked maybe sat down and had a talk and a good cry, then he wouldn't have felt the need to do that. Do you know what I mean? And like I've been, been going through the grieving process, I'm not saying I'm over it yet, but like, like Graham was saying as well, that there's not enough, there's not enough like help out there. There's not enough professional help for, I would say women or men, right? But it's hard, I know it's harder for men to, to deal with um, and like what women will open up to other women cry may be easier than men will but is that not why it's more important for a have more like you could go say we've got you we'll get you an appointment for counseling but there's a six week waiting list or a ten week waiting list if you're feeling suicidal that day what is giving you a per appointment in ten weeks going to do is that going to stop you from taking your own life I don't think it will do you know what I mean? It's it's trying to hold on. You're trying to hold on for a minute by minute by minute, not for five, six weeks, ten weeks. Do you know what I mean? Before you can see a professional. So I just feel like uh, men should should be able to feel they could cry and they could should open up and and then that way maybe they would get a bit more help that that they need. Um, and not have to feel the need to take their own lives and and affect so many people that they'll leave behind. Um, oh, well, thank you very much for your time. That's I do appreciate your opinion. Thank you. That's fine.
Okay, it was nice to meet you. That's some of the stories we got today, but there's still plenty more hidden within the city of Dundee. Please share and comment on Rebrate News your story.